Please do not tell her. Speaking of stupid people, like, ew, your shares are sack. Hey everyone. Okay, so first things first, my voice sounds crazy, but I had my heart set on recording this haul video today. I'm getting over a cold or allergies or some kind of mysterious illness or something. And for some reason, I lost my voice in the process and I like never lose my voice. I don't know what's up with that, but I'm just, I'm enjoying my uh, mysterious new identity with my weird squeaky slash lower voice. And I know, you know, my love for Target transcends all weirdness caused by strange voices. We're doing a Target haul. It feels like it's been so long. Like I mentioned stuff that I got at Target in my last home decor haul, but it's been so long since I've done like Target clothes and stuff. And that's what I got today. Plus even more than that. But I recently let myself kind of go nuts at Target and it was so beautiful. P.S. By the time this video goes out, I'll probably be like 100% better, so you don't have to tell me to get well. Well, actually, you can like travel back in time, or you can write like a little like, get well soon, Leanne of the past. I don't know how you want to work that, but I'm just letting you know, um, I'm probably not sick in the actual present when you're watching this. I've taken some cold medicine. I'm not totally sure why I needed to make that clarification. Let's just move right past it. In case you're wondering about this hair, there already is a tutorial. I'll link it down below. Okay, let's get into it. So they gave me like the biggest bag ever and I kind of couldn't figure out why, but it's because I bought this giant handbag that I actually don't even have in here. Maybe I'll go get it, but it was for a costume, so that's like a separate video. If you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, well, actually, I pretty much like live snapped this entire Target trip. So if you follow me real hard on Snapchat, you might have seen a lot of this stuff. Big shout out to my Snapchat fam. I love you people. For the rest of you, this will be a surprise. So I found this whole section of onesies, and they had like Star Wars ones, they had Disney ones, they had all different kinds of characters. And of course, I fell in love with the Ariel one. I'm definitely gonna have to model this for you to show you the full effect and the full amazingness of this onesie. The hood is bright red and it has like this giant felt flower applique thing that kind of hangs off. And of course, the shell bikini top. The legs look like the fins and they're actually, they don't have closed feet, which actually makes me really happy. It's just kind of like jogger. And then randomly, the back is just kind of boring. It's all plain lavender, which is okay with me. I pretty much only concern myself with the front of me. You've seen the back of my hair. It's crazy. I'm basically 1000% obsessed with this onesie. This is gonna be my winter bikini bod. Not that I ever have like a bikini bod, but I just thought it was funny because it's like a bikini, whatever. Moving on, it's super comfy and it's super, super warm. So I actually haven't gotten to actually wear it yet because it's not cool enough at all outside, but I'm waiting for that day. And my next pajama adventure was actually inspired by you guys, mostly on Twitter and Snapchat. A lot of people sent me photos of this set and were like, you need to have this. And I was like, yes, I do. So the moment that I saw them, I was all over it. They're super, super comfy and they are pizza pajamas. Pepperoni pizza slices in like crazy neon colors with a gray background and it's a top and it's a bottom and they're really, really soft. Like some of their pajamas that I was feeling in like leggings and stuff, they were like weird. Like you could feel the printing on the outside and those, that's, that's not comfortable target. Take notes. These however are super comfortable. I feel like these are going to be like my Christmas morning pajamas. I'm already planning. I'm such a child. Don't mind me. I wonder if I'll have dreams about pizza when I wear these. Even more pizza dreams. Next up in non-pajama acquirements, I got this little like sweater tank top, which is so such a confusing thing. And the colors are like crazy super 70s vibe, like especially these two colors to me. It's like a little turtleneck, but it's sleeveless and it's also a crop top, but it's sweater material. That is so confusing. That's a very like 90s thing in my mind. It makes me think of like 
the movie Jawbreaker. Have you seen that movie? That is a like quintessential 90s girl movie in my mind. I don't know if that's Probably a lot of you guys agree with me. I hope you do. Another thing I always think when I see sweaters like this that are like sleeveless, oddly, I always think dog sweaters because dogs never have like long sleeves on their sweaters. They're always like oddly sleeveless. So it doesn't really make sense that it's a sweater, but it totally is. I might be overthinking this like I do most things, but there's also like a little skirt that went with it and I tried them on both together and it was like horrifically wonderful. Probably no one would agree with me on the wonderful side, but I was really enjoying it, but I knew that I would never wear it. So I just got the top. I think I will wear the top with like pants because I felt like, I don't know, I felt like it was like too much skin. I don't know. I don't usually have feelings like that, but I did have that feeling that day, but I like it and it's weird and that's perfect. Next up, this is probably like the least weird thing I got, but it's really, really, really cute. It's a Massimo sweater dress and it's like got little tiny baby cap sleeves and it's a maroon color. It's very fitted. It's kind of like a fit and flare sort of dress. I don't know. I think that's what you call them. Um, but like it feels really good. It feels like better than Target and it fits amazingly. This is going to be really great for like work and maybe even like a slightly dressed up occasion. Again, it's definitely too warm outside right now to wear this, but I think once it gets just a little bit cooler, it will be perfect and I can wear it with boots and tights and a jacket and it will be so lovely. I love this color. This is like my color of life slash just fall. It's my, my fall life color. Next up, I got something that I said that I was not going to get. Ever since I got Luna, I was just in my heart and in my mind, I was saying, I'm not going to be about that baby gate life because I just feel like it's so like annoying and restrictive and you'd have to be like messing with it all the time. But I have accepted my fate. I got a baby gate. I love how like on the packaging, they're like trying to illustrate to you. That's like, this is for dogs and babies. Like it works for both of them. Like you. Who is so stupid to think that you'd have to have a different baby gate for dog babies and human babies? Come on, people. Speaking of stupid people, I totally didn't measure the area that I needed to put the gate slash it's like a really bad place to put a gate because there's like a little pole that it's supposed to go across to. It's super, super wide, but I was just like, it'll work. And this is too small for me and it actually doesn't reach all the way across so I'm kind of an idiot but luckily Luna's kind of an idiot too because I just like rested up against the stair and there's like little gaps on both sides but in the time that I've had this which is actually like oh, at least a week two weeks maybe more uh, she has not figured out that she could easily like knock it over so please do not tell her Side thing, baby gates are so ugly. Ugh, why don't they make one? I'm sure somewhere they do make like really cute ones like on Etsy or something that are made of like daisies or something magical that are $8,000, but I don't know. At Target, they should have cute ones. Am I right? I saw my new shoes that have nothing to do with Target. I actually got them just the other day at Nordstrom and they're free people. And I really, really like them and I'm not going to do like a Nordstrom haul because I just got shoes. So I decided to throw them in here. I'm super in love with them and they're kind of like outside of the box for me simply because they're not black shoes because I'm so weirdly trapped in a box of wearing only black shoes like almost all the time. Um, and these are kind of like a taupey gray and they're booties and they have like little ventilation slits. Ugh, the word slit is so nasty. This booty is extremely breathable, which is actually kind of good for Texas right now. I don't know what it's gonna be like whenever it's like winter and there's like cold wind rushing through the tops of my feet. Maybe, hopefully I'll be wearing like tights or something, but, but I just felt like I had to show you these cause I like totally went outside of the box. And I know most people think my shoe choices are like really ugly. I feel like these, are not gonna get that reaction. Who knows? I have no idea because I'm half the time I'm like completely surprised when people are like, ew, your shoes are sick. 
but that's like pretty much what people always tell me on Instagram, which I think is hilarious. Doesn't really matter. I'm super into these. Okay, I feel like my voice is like super leaving the building. It's time to wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching despite my like crazy, raspy, smelly cat voice. You guys are the best. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It really helps my channel. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I don't always sound like this. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. And if you want to find me anywhere else on the internet, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, everywhere, it's Leanne Says. I love talking to you guys. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Um, and these... Luna needs some attention. Luna is having a party with her duck right now. <gasps> Guys, am I gonna try to work out? I've been really wanting to. I've been really threatening. I mean, I know I've always threatened that I was like gonna work out and try to be healthy. What if this just pushes me right over the edge?